Well, the South Carolina Superintendent of Education says teachers owe it to the state to get back to the classroom full time. That's right, and she says they shouldn't wait on the vaccine to do it. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle is live at the Greenville Vaccination Center this morning with why that is. Good morning, Grace. Good morning. Well, both the governor and the state superintendent say it's time to get teachers and students back into the classroom for in-person learning full time. And they say that getting the COVID-19 vaccination at sites like this one should not be a prerequisite for doing so. Now, several school districts and different groups across the state have called upon the governor and the state to superintendent to prioritize teachers for vaccinations. That came after McMaster expanded eligibility to those 65 and up, but the governor says that's not going to happen for teachers just yet. State Superintendent Molly Spearman says her job is to advocate for teachers and students, but she does agree with the governor, and Spearman says the districts owe it to the state to return to full in-person learning. The state has put in over $100 million in PPE to make schools safe, plexiglass, everything they've asked for, we have given them. And I think those teachers who signed those contracts owe a responsibility to come to work and do what they should. Spearman says 646 schools are back to full in-person learning in areas where the COVID-19 spread rate is still high, but DHEC has not traced any major breakouts to a classroom. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to tell you what one local educator has to say about the governor and the state superintendent's message. We're also going to tell you how many teachers across the entire state say they're ready to get vaccinated as soon as possible. Margaret Ann.